Hello and welcome to Infinity. When you take pictures, especially with a wide angle lens, you very often will get distortion at the edges. Often you won't notice in you know, things like landscape pictures, but when you've got a person at the edge, they may well get rather wide themselves. Look at this guy here. He's kind of a bit wide, isn't he? He's not really his normal space. So, so, so we need to find a way to very simply and quickly get him back into shape without sending him to the gym. So let's go to the rectangular marquee tool here. Click on this and we're going to take a piece off the edge here. We're going to include him in it. Then I'm going to control C and control V, which cut and paste that. Then control D to get rid of the marching ants. And I'll turn off the background layer. And this is what I cut and pasted this bit here. So now I just go up to the move tool and slide this in and instant thinning, put him on a diet. There we go to get to you know, maybe a more realistic size. And then if we put the background on again, then we've got him here and I can hit the crop tool and then crop out that odd bit of the edge there. Pull this in here and apply that. And there we go. Here's he is a bit more normal. The sky is looking OK. And if I could right click on here and hit merge down to make it turn into an ordinary picture. But what I'm going to do is go back to the beginning and look at another variation on this. So I'll go to my history, turn this back to zero. Because sometimes you have in the rest of the picture here something that doesn't look good when it's distorted. So, you know, maybe in a sky picture, it starts to make the clouds look a little bit squeezed or whatever. You know, maybe other things as well. So what if I just want to squeeze him myself? And a way to do that is with the uh, mesh warp tool. So you right click here and click on the mesh warp. Now I want to pick an area which doesn't mind being squeezed too much around him here. So I'm going to pick, click here in the sky and then see the circle appears Then another click puts in lines, which is going to be outside him. Then I'm going to put another one here. So he's contained in here. I could put another one in underneath here as well, but I think I, all I need is this one. And now what I'm going to do is going to pull these nodes in here to make him a bit thinner and pull that in there a little bit and I can do the other side as well move that a bit in here and a little bit and the trick is to do it not a little bit so that when you because the rest of this is going to get a bit distorted but if it's spread out and you don't notice it then you can be successful there you are here there he is we applied that and now we've got the whole picture I didn't have to make it a different aspect ratio and I've just made him a bit thinner and it's hardly noticeable any change around there. So there you go, two methods for fixing the wide person at the edge of a wide angle lens photograph. Thank you very much for watching.